Do you ever have trouble getting back to where you were in Teams just a few steps in the past? Well, Microsoft has now added a super handy history menu that can help you get to exactly where you want to go. This is going to be a super quick tip, so let's just dive right in. I've got the Teams desktop app open on Windows, and I've been clicking around for a while going about my normal day. Say that I'm editing a PowerPoint file and I get a chat from Alex over here. A problem that I personally run into is that I get distracted and I may finish talking to Alex, but then I'll go and I'll check my calendar, see what I've got going on for the day, or maybe I'll go into like the Communities app, see if I miss anything inside of Yammer. But a few minutes later, I'll finally realize that I'm supposed to be working on this slide deck from several clicks ago, but that was buried back in a Teams channel all the way in the Files tab. Well, now with the History menu, I can jump right into that file by hovering my mouse over the Back button, and in about a second, a list of about a dozen most recent places in Teams comes up. I can then mouse over that PowerPoint file, and I can get directly there and pick up where I left off. This History menu also works on the Mac desktop app for Teams, and it even lets me get into apps like the Communities app, or Approvals, or other places like that. The only place that I've noticed that I can't jump directly to is if I was editing a meeting on my calendar. I can jump to the calendar itself, but not to an event that I was looking at on the calendar. How about going forward in the list of places? Sure, you can do that. If you use the back button a few times, like I'm going to click back a few steps, then all you need to do is mouse over the forward button, and you'll notice that your current location is highlighted in the middle of the list. So you can just click up in that list and jump forward in time to the place where you needed to be. Something to note, if you click on a specific spot in the history menu, that becomes your new current top location. So you won't be able to jump forward if you went to that spot from within the history menu. So what about the browser or the mobile apps? Well, Teams Mobile doesn't have a back or a forward button, so you won't have the history menu there but you can easily use a browser's back button to do the same jumping around within Teams on the web if you need to do that. To see the history menu in Edge, all I need to do is go up to the back button and right click on that back button. There I'll see a quick history of the places I've been in Teams, and I can do that same specific jump if I want to, to get to that PowerPoint file within the app. All right, so that's a quick but pretty useful little tip for Microsoft Teams. Teams can be a single pane of glass which helps you focus on the spot you're looking at right now, but that single pane of glass can also lead to getting worn out, drilling back into Teams, then channels, then tabs to get back where you were. Let me know in the comments below if you found any other little tricks for getting back to where you left off when a distraction happens to come up. Thanks for watching.